Today we're rescuing my friend's PC, which is really not even a PC any longer. And we're gonna change that. As a professional PC builder and occasional GPU reviewer, you know, like when they actually exist, I am constantly collecting data. Data about price, availability, performance, abnormalities or weird things that are happening. And in order for me to have a framework to even begin to analyze that data, it's critical that I understand data science. And that's exactly what today's sponsor, DataCamp, is all about. DataCamp is an online learning platform focused on helping people understand more about what data is and what it can do for you. No matter what industry you're in or want to explore in the future, data science is critical to your success and the success of your next venture. DataCamp offers over 300 easy to understand courses and online learning experiences broken down into digestible lessons and skill assessments to keep your learning on track. Wanna know more about what data science is and why it's important? Check out Data Science for Everyone or one of the many introductory courses like Intro to Tableau. You could become an expert in everything from Python to SQL to even Excel and spreadsheets. And the cost is just $25 a month for unlimited access to everything they offer. There's even an Android and an iOS app for learning on the go. And the lessons are bite-sized so you don't get overwhelmed. Invest in yourself and your future and click the link below to check out the first chapter of any course absolutely free with no commitment. DataCamp can help you grow your understanding of how information can help you and your business now and in the future. Check it out today. So how did this PC behind me get to be in such a sorry state? And what are we gonna do about it? Well, that's what we do here on the channel. We build PCs. So make sure you get subscribed if you don't wanna miss any of our upcoming content. Also consider following me on Twitter at BPS underscore customs. Now, there is a bit of a story behind this system. This setup here belongs to my buddy, Neil. Now, Neil is one of my closest friends. Uh, we've known each other for a long time. He's very generous, uh, and he is a PC gamer at heart. He's been playing PC games for a long time. I think he is really heavily into Skyrim still, uh, plays like a modified version of it, and you know that community is still extremely active. So he was a PC gamer, and unfortunately, a few years ago, he had his system blow up on him. Now, I, I'm a little fuzzy on the details from what I can remember. However, what I think happened or what I remember happened was that he had an AMD FX based build and uh, it stopped working. And he came to me and said, hey, can you can you help me out? And I said, sure, you take this this case and we'll give you some green cable extensions and I'll hook you up with a motherboard and CPU and memory combo. Now, this is an i7-3930K. This is a Chinese motherboard and a four by eight gig kit of G-Skills Rip Jaws X memory. This was temporary, this was on loan. Uh, I said, here, take it, use it, um, you know, use it for a while until you can buy yourself something new. Uh, and then, you know, when you're done with it, give it back. Well, as it turns out, Neil had this build together for, I don't remember exactly how long, maybe it was a, a year or so, maybe a little bit less. And eventually I said, hey buddy, uh, I actually do need this stuff back at some point because I had some testing and whatnot to run. So he of course was, he said, yeah, absolutely. Just come get it. Um, you know, I, I, this your stuff, no problem. So I went to his house, picked up uh, this portion of the setup brought it back here and actually I've used it on the channel a couple times for a couple of tests and stuff like that, but now I'm all done with it. But in the interim, Neil has wanted to build himself a new gaming PC. And it started back when AMD 3000 series was the shit. And he wanted to build himself one of those in a 3950X. But then the 5000 series came out and he wanted to build one of those instead. Well, either he procrastinated a little too much or the market swing just hit at the right time and all of a sudden he couldn't buy anything. Now he's got a GPU. This is maybe one of the most iconic GPUs of all time and hopefully you guys recognize this. This is an Asus ROG Strix GTX 1080 Ti. This is maybe one of my favorite GPUs ever. And he had bought this when he had planned on upgrading everything but before everything blew up. So he had this in his, I think, AMD FX build, and then he transferred it over to this build, and we're still gonna use that today. However, what I told him was, hey, I know you've been 
itching to get back into PC gaming ever since I stole your system back from you. Uh, but unfortunately, there's nothing that you could buy right now, as I'm sure many of you are aware. So what I told Neil was, hey, I, I did what I needed to do with this setup, this 3930K setup. It was working fine for you for a long time, and uh, I don't need it anymore. So give me a hundred bucks. I'll give you the motherboard CPU and memory, uh, and I'll put it back in your case for you. I'll make it all look pretty. We'll reinstall the 1080 Ti and you'll be good to go. You'll be able to, to game again. So I went over to his house the other day, picked up this system that's been sitting around for a while. Uh, it is all dusty. And as you can see, it's not in the best of conditions. There's, that is actually my old IO shield that's still inside of that box. Uh, but in here, everything's kind of a disaster. We've got ugh, a lot of dust going on. Uh, and this case, while a fine case is, you know, quite old at this point, I think that this is something that I had also given him a long time ago. This is a be quiet, I don't know, pure, silent, dark base something. I get confused with their names. Sorry, be quiet, I love you. But I mean, as you could tell, this has an acrylic window and that isn't really a thing anymore. So this case is definitely, and oh, it even has like a front door. Check that out. He's got like a, a hard drive. Is that a hot swap hard drive? bay oh my god that's cool anyway this is an old case and uh i want to upgrade that for him but you know what my plans are a little bit more extensive than that so while i don't have any extra ryzen 9 processors 3950x or 5950x lying around i do have this and this is something that i can part with and give to neil and hopefully it serves him well for a long time this is a Ryzen 7 3700X. Now we are gonna be putting it obviously in an AM4 motherboard that he can use to upgrade to a 16 core processor in the future if he wants to. However, this is gonna be perfect for his needs. Now that AM4 motherboard that we're gonna be using is this one. This is from Asus, their Tough Gaming B550M Plus Wi-Fi. And why micro ATX? Because we're building in a new my cube 110 this is from deep cool uh, i haven't even opened this box yet but it is a micro atx chassis and this is the white version so it should be pretty cool we're going to pair it with some cable extensions from cable mod gold white and black to go with our gold memory this is from gscale this is their trident z royal this is ddr4 3600 speed memory this should be awesome for gaming and anything else that Neil wants to do. And then we're also gonna use another new cooler from Deep Cool. This is the AS500 Tower Cooler. I haven't test fit this or done any measurement comparison at all. So I hope it fits in our micro ATX chassis. I think it will. They sent me this along with the case. So uh, hopefully they were meant to go together, uh, but this should provide enough cooling for our 3700X. And then we're gonna reuse his 1080 Ti and the storage and the power supply from his old build. So Neil didn't ask for and doesn't know about any of this. He knew that we were gonna be rebuilding his system, but he thought it was with the old 3930K setup. He has no idea about any of these upgrades over here. So I'm hoping to surprise him and we gotta get it back to him later today. So I really do need to get to work putting all this stuff together. And I really am excited to show you guys the final product. One hour later. Everything went into the front of the case really neatly, and I'm pretty sure that this clears height-wise. Uh, yeah, so that should work. Uh, haven't put the glass panel back on, but uh, we'll see in a second. I also upgraded the fans here. Gave him a couple of these Deep Cool MF120 GTs. These are the ones with that cool like X RGB pattern on them when uh, when they light up. So we got like a set of three of them, two intake, one exhaust. I'm gonna leave the, the top open. Uh, if he wants some more fans, we could fix that. Uh, but the interior looking pretty clean. I'll tell you that, this G-Skill memory is tight and uh, matches up really well with our cables. We got our other cable mod cables up there. Everything down here, pretty neat. The case comes with a GPU support bracket that we're gonna definitely utilize. And uh, yeah, just wrapping things up, Got a 
do some cable management now. Just tidying up some cables in here and you really do realize, you know, with a smaller case and a, a less depth behind here, how creative you need to be in order to make sure that everything is neat, especially when it's not a system that's coming apart immediately and you wanna have some cable management. So I was able to route uh, some of the front panel cables down here. There's a little bit of a channel in this case that allows you to zip tie them uh, up top. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, this deep cool uh, fan hub and this deep cool RGB hub to make sure that everything is neat. And we could kind of tuck some wiring like up under here or whatnot. You know, I haven't finished it all yet, but there is a channel here for your EPS cable. Um, but there is still a little bit of a wire mess, and I'm going to have to figure out a way to route these SATA and SATA power cables to the SSD that's there. And then there's also going to be this Samsung drive that goes here. So there is going to be a little bit more cable clutter back here that I'm going to have to fix. Uh, and then we're almost done. I was going to leave the old power supply in place, but a couple things made me change my mind. First of all, it's uh, it's pretty gross. Second of all, it is not at all modular. So we ended up with this like giant mess of cables and the space that we're having to put it in is pretty small because this is a micro ATX case. Uh, and then the length again is pretty big. So I'm gonna swap over to this Fractal Design Ion Plus uh, 760 watt unit. It's gonna give us more power, a little more stability, platinum rated efficiency versus gold. Also, it's a, it's, I don't know, Rosewood power supplies always seem to be kind of iffy for me. I mean, maybe it's fine. 80 plus gold rated but still i'd rather just go with something that i know is gonna be really good it is shorter by about a centimeter and a half and it's fully modular so we're not gonna have to deal with this nastiness and i think this will be a much cleaner solution here it is all done time for the first boot do we think it will post i don't know i hope so but uh the i left the plastic on the glass here uh, for Neil to take off himself uh, but this case works the same way as uh, deep cool's other in my cube it's a very simple like magnetic closure system and you just kind of like pull it right off and then the panel comes right off like that it's very easy pretty intuitive and uh, I think it works pretty well so here is our interior this is all cable managed as best I can um, things got pretty tight down here so I didn't want to run these cables under the GPU because uh, Cable Mod Pro cables are um, pretty stiff sometimes. So I thought that was the best option to just run them to the right, uh, but everything else looks good. Let's give the power button its maiden press. And come on memory. Yeah, that's it. There we go. So here are those deep cool fans that I talked about earlier. They look pretty cool. Uh, the front ones obviously are facing the other direction, but they still light up pretty nice and they have a hub on them facing the other way. The rest of the case, I'm just gonna leave on rainbow and uh, let Neil configure it however he wants. But uh, yeah, everything went pretty smoothly with this build. Micro ATX is not a form factor that a lot of people really um, build with anymore I don't know why it's it's pretty cool it's a nice I don't know a nice compromise between um, full-size ATX and mini ITX because you get a, a smaller footprint case that still fits full-size components you could still get like you know four memory slots you could still get a giant graphics card like the Strix card we have here and um, things aren't too cramped in there got some nice space utilizing the uh, the built-in GPU support bracket back there which might be hard to see but uh, yeah this came out really good and uh, we're all done. So while I know it's pretty popular to do those kinds of videos where you bring the surprise over to your friend's house and show their reaction, Neil's a pretty private guy and I wanna try to respect that. Uh, he's a really good friend of mine and I know he's really gonna love this PC and it's gonna be a huge surprise. He was not expecting this. I would have given him a 3950X or a 5950X if I had one to spare which unfortunately I don't, but the fact that we've we've built with a platform that allows him to upgrade, if he at some point in the future manages to get his hands on one, then certainly he could just pop it right in there or I'd be happy to do it for him. Uh, but the 3700X I think is gonna work out really well for his purposes. 
and I don't even know if he's gonna need to upgrade anytime soon. Um, but yeah, we're all done with this project and I'm glad to take you guys along. I know it wasn't our regular build type video, uh, but we'll get back to that soon enough and it's always kind of good to do something for a friend. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, get subscribed to the channel if you are not already. Hit that like button down below also and I will see you in the next video.